Okay guys, let's just make a start with IELTS reading module and we are going to solve this reading test together. We will do all the tests, 40 by 40 questions. I will read the question, I will tell you where to go in the passage and then after that you will have to find the answer and uh, make sure that you repeat this test. Uh, once you are done with this test with me, after that you have to repeat the test, okay? Anyways, let's make a start. Whenever you start any passage, start with the title of the passage. You need to read the title. So the title is Choosing the Best Sleeping Bag. Now sleeping bag is a bag. Wherever you want to sleep, like you want to sleep here, you can just roll the bag and then there you are and you can sleep. People who travel or people who go to the, what do you say, adventurous sites, camping and all that, they have sleeping bags, right? Sometimes you can zip up the bag and you can enjoy a night's sleep. So there are sleeping bags and after reading the title, we will come to questions. The questions are here, one to eight. Look at the seven reviews of sleeping bags, A to G on pages 39 to 40. For which sleeping bag are the following statements true? We call it which paragraph contains the following information. Very common question type in academic as well as in general training IELTS reading. Now, what do we have to do? We will not read the questions first. Uh, there are three types of reading. One is skim reading. One is scanning. And one is reading. When you read word by word to understand, that is called reading. Skim reading, for example, there is a paragraph, you read it quickly and you want to understand the main idea of the paragraph, that is called skimming. We need skimming for list of headings, okay? And for which paragraph contains the following information, we need skimming and sometimes we need scanning. Now, what is scanning? Scanning is not reading. Scanning is only searching. For example, if I say in this paragraph, look for the word 350 grams. 350, 350, you are looking around and you say, okay, 350 is in paragraph C. So this is called scanning, okay? So you scan, you skim, and when you reach the right part of the passage, then you read. And if you read everything, then you cannot manage your time. Then IELTS reading, in one hour, it will not be possible, okay? So then you'll say it is difficult for me. So if you do over reading, then you cannot manage it. And if you do scanning, skimming, then within 50, 60 minutes, you can solve all the tests without any problem. Whenever you over read, you cannot manage your time. Poor time management is the result of over reading. Over reading means you're reading everything. One of my students said, sir, if the answer is in paragraph C, First I read paragraph A, then I read paragraph B. I said, no, you need to skim. He said, I cannot do it. When I just look at the passage, I want to read it. I want to understand everything. And another intelligent student said, sir, first I read all the passage, then I read the questions. But there is one problem that in one hour, I can only do one section. So these type of problems occur. But if you, I mean, for 40 questions, there are only 40 sentences. If I give you 40 questions and 40 sentences, believe me, within 20 minutes, you can solve reading. Now, locating those 40 sentences, that is something you need to master. I mean, the right location of the answer, you need to learn that, and then it's going to be okay. Now, we come to this, uh, when choosing a sleeping bag, check what season and all that. Now, you don't need to read the first paragraph, you need to read from A to E. Uh, now, you know these are sleeping bags. They will give us some features of the sleeping bag and you need to visualize for listening and for reading. Your visualization will help you a lot. Now, it's not that you are reading about sleeping bag and you're thinking about chocolates and roses. This is not something which matches here. Or you're reading about the sleeping bags and you're checking your makeup. Is it okay or not? Lipstick is not dark today or something like that, okay? So keep in mind, whatever you read, you have to visualize that, then you will understand everything, okay? Now, let's see. This all year round sleeping bag, all year round means summer, winter, you can use it everywhere, right? Uh, a bag combines natural dusk down and new synthetic fiber. So it's natural duck down and synthetic fiber. Underline natural and synthetic fiber, then underline all year round sleeping bag. 
The result is a bag that's warm and weighs 1.5 kg. 1.5 kg means it's lightweight, right? There is a water resistant finish to protect it from moisture. So water resistant also. Now these are the things which we have underlined. Now we read the questions carefully and remember when you read the questions, second time when you read paragraph B, you will consider the questions. Now when we read the questions, we are considering paragraph A. But when you read paragraph B, you will consider the questions. Now please come to questions. Question number one. This sleeping bag is not very easy to pack up. We didn't read anything like that. But underline not easy to pack. Means once you open, you cannot close it, right? Question number two. People can use this sleeping bag in any season. Exactly. In any season. And for that, they used all year round sleeping bag. All year round and any season, they are synonyms. So the right answer is A for question number two. And now do one thing. Just put a little cross with question number two so that you don't read it again. Okay, where they have written two, just put a little cross there and it's fine. Now, question number three. This sleeping bag has been designed to ensure certain parts of the body are warm. Underline certain parts of body warm. Now look, certain parts, it can be feet, it can be head, it can be ears or any, any other part like that. Okay, But they didn't talk about it in paragraph A. Okay, Now we go on. Uh, this sleeping bag contains a useful storage area. Storage area means there is a pocket also where you can keep your things. Underline storage area. And imagine a sleeping bag and all that. Question number five, people who do not want to spend much. Now, underline do not want to spend much. What does it mean? It is economical. It is cheap. It is cost effective or not very expensive. Question number six, this sleeping bag can also keep the user warm during the daytime. Warm during the daytime. Okay. And next question number seven, people who wish to avoid carrying heavy weights should try this sleeping bag. Now, people who do not want to have heavy weights. So, avoid carrying heavy weights, underline heavy weight. They talked about it 1.5 kg, but they did not mention anything related to people who don't want to carry heavy weight. Okay, question number eight, this sleeping bag contains two different types of material. What is that? Natural duck down. And new synthetic fiber. These are two different types of material. So question number eight, A is the right answer. And you will cross number eight also from the list. Okay, you're going to cross number eight from the list. Now question number two and question number eight, we have answered them. And now we are not going to read them again. Okay, you'll just read one, three and all that. Now please come to paragraph B. This double sleeping bag, which is suitable for all seasons except winter. Now, this will not go there. They said suitable for all seasons except winter is soft and cozy. And there is a handy pocket storage. Well done. Handy pocket and storage. Question number four. Right answer is B. And we will cross number four as well. Got it? Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Now we go on. Handy pocket for essentials located inside near the top. It also folds up remarkably small given its size. It folds up remarkably small, not difficult to fold. Okay, so that's it. Now we come to paragraph C. At just 350 gram, this sleeping bag is remarkably light. 350 gram, remarkably light. Come back to questions. Question number seven. People who wish to avoid carrying heavy weights should try this sleeping bag. I wish I could buy this sleeping bag. 350 grams. Less than half kg. Okay. Yeah, now it's fine. All right. Now, let's go on. <coughs> After this, we've got question, uh, paragraph D. If you want a no frills, Budget sleeping bag. Budget. Budget means economical. Budget sleeping bag. Question number five. People who do not want to spend much. Do not want to spend much means budget. 
Okay, so question number five, answer is D, D for doctor. And now please cross number five also. See there, now you are left with one, three, six, seven. And this is how you can manage your time well. All right, now we read on. Paragraph D, we read on. Budget sleeping bag that will last more than one summer, opt for this. It's soft, comfy, and simple to wash. Give yourself a bit of time to fit it back in the bag. Means give yourself a bit of time to fit it back in the bag. It means it will take time to fit it back in the bag. So that is question number one. This sleeping bag is not very easy to pack up. Not very easy to pack up. For that they said give yourself a bit of time to fit it back in the bag. Okay. So question number one answer is. D. Now, we crossed number 1 also. Alright, next we are left with 3, 6 and 7. 7 is done. Yeah, yeah, I didn't cross it. Okay, good. Now, let's go on. Last paragraph and one question left. Yeah? Question number 3 and one paragraph. 3 and 6. Yeah, both. Alright, let's just see. Okay, Jack Wolfskin's Smooth Zip, we like the extra insulation in this sleeping bag around the areas that tend to feel the cold. And those areas are head, chest and feet. So which question is that? Six. Six. This sleeping bag can also keep the user warm dur during the daytime? No, it's not that. Three. This sleeping bag has been designed to ensure certain parts of body. So those certain parts of body are head, chest and feet. So question number three, answer is E. And we will cross question number three also. Got it? Now please come to next page. Paragraph F. How many questions are left? One, one and two paragraphs. It means one paragraph is empty. So what's the question? Let's read the question. Question number six. This sleeping bag can also keep the user warm during the daytime. All right. Paragraph F. We are not doing true, false, not given, referred. We are doing different type of question. Okay. So paragraph F. This innovative high quality kid sleeping bag enables you to undo some zips and turn it into a fun animal themed coat. This is fun animal themed coat. Once your young, youngster is ready for bed, simply zip the bottom back and zip up the shoulder suitable for between 8 and 12 degrees Celsius. So what is the question? This sleeping bag can also keep the user warm during the daytime. daytime. Where have they mentioned daytime? No, they haven't mentioned daytime. Yeah, innovative high quality kids sleeping bag enables you to undo some zips and turn it into fun animal themed coat. Okay, once your youngster is ready for bed. Okay, animal themed coat. All right, okay. That's right, Umar Maiman. You are saying animal themed coat because you and you can wear the coat during the daytime. All right. Okay, that's fine. Now, basically, the, the question, yeah, that's right. The sleeping bag can also keep the user warm during the daytime. Now, try to understand technical point. They said here, this innovative high quality kit sleeping bag enables you to undo some zips and turn it into a fun animal themed coat. Sleeping bag can be converted into a coat. And coat will keep you warm during the daytime. Wow. Umar, thank you so much for that. Exactly. So, correct answer for question number 6 is F. See that? How you can use it during the daytime? You turn it into a coat and you are, you are wearing your coat and it is a sleeping bag. Wow. That's awesome. So, question number 6, answer is F and we are done with all the answers. Okay, that's great.
All right. Now we go on the next passage. Groups for readers and writers. Now there are groups A, B, C, D, E, F and these groups are for readers and writers. Readers means people who read books and writers they are authors. Okay. Groups for readers and writers and then there are the names of groups. After this, we come to questions. Questions 8 to 14. The text on page 18 has six paragraphs. Which paragraph mentions the following? Very common question type. Which paragraph contains the following information? You can do it two ways. The best thing is first skim read. Now you need to use skim reading. Skim reading is to read quickly underlining important words and then you will come to questions and see which question matches with that option. Please come to option A, teen vision. This is a reading group for teens, underline teens, 12 to 16, which meets on the last Thursday of the month. We are a friendly group, underline friendly group, with everybody keen to talk about what we've enjoyed reading recently and make suggestions on what we should read. Underline make suggestions what we should read. Like they will give you suggestion, you should read Harry Potter novel, you should read that book and all that. We are massive fans of action. Underline massive fans of action. Action means adventure, fantasy and adventure. So action, underline action, fantasy, adventure. But we try to include a mix of genre <coughs> in our choice. Keep all these things in mind and in reading, if you switch on your imagination, you will understand things better. Now, let's go on. Now, this time you will read the questions very carefully because some of the questions will be used for the next paragraphs. So, read them carefully. Question number eight, members of this group share ideas for the books they would like to read. Yes or no? No? Okay, answer is yes. Why? Members of this group share ideas. Please come to paragraph A, third line, and make suggestions on what we should read next. Members of this group share ideas for the books they would like to read. They would like to read means what we should read next. So question number eight, right answer is A. And remember, one paragraph may have one answer, two answers, three answers, and no answer also. That is also possible. Question number nine, it isn't possible for any new members to join this group. So isn't possible, join this group. What does it mean? This group is full. Membership is closed. Okay, but here they didn't talk about that. But keep that in mind. Membership closed, no one can join the group. Okay. Question number 10. You can get feedback on your own work. Underline feedback on your work. Feedback on your work. They will tell you how your work is. Question number 11. This group focuses on stories belonging to just one genre. One genre means one type. So underline stories belonging to one genre. One type of stories like romantic stories or fantasy stories. One type only. Okay, let's go on. Uh, work produced by members of this group will be available to public. Underline work will be available to public. What does it mean? They will publish it. They will publish it on any website or they will display it somewhere where people can read it. Okay, so will be available to public means they will publish your work. Question number 13, this group doesn't read or write either poetry or fiction. Underline doesn't read, write poetry, fiction. It means no poetry, no fiction. There would be another thing that they read and write. Question number 14, this group would suit someone who thinks they could write a book. So, underline group suit someone who could write book. Now, you think you can write a book, but you don't have motivation. They will motivate you to write the book and all that. Now, we are familiar with all the questions. Keep the questions in mind and we go to paragraph B. Creative writing workshop. 
would you like to share your writing with others and hear their constructive suggestions for how to improve it? What is constructive suggestions on how to improve it? Feedback. Feedback. Well done. Constructive suggestions on how to improve it. That is question number 10. And question number 10 is? Okay. So, for question number 10, correct answer is B, B for boy. Let's go on. We read ahead. Have you got a book inside you but need the inspiration to get started? What does it mean? You want to write a book but you have no motivation to write that. Question number 14. Well done. Question number 14. This group would suit someone who thinks they could write a book. And for that, they use the word, have you got a book inside you but need ideas for storylines and characters and, uh, sorry, need the inspiration to get started. So, question number 14, correct answer is B. So far, we have done with question number 8, 10 and 14. And by the way, you need to cross these questions. Just cross the question number, question number 8, question number 10 and question number 14. Just put a little cross so that you don't read them again. Now, paragraph C, books for now. We meet on the second and fourth Mondays of each month in members' homes. The group is open to men and women who enjoy discussing the themes and issues found in science fiction novels. Now, they only discuss science fiction novels. What does it mean? 13. Question number 13 is this group doesn't read or write either poetry or fiction. They didn't talk about poetry or fiction. It is question number 11. This group focuses on stories belonging to just one genre. And what is that one genre? Science fiction. Science fiction novels, one genre. Genre means type. One type only and that type is science fiction novels. Question number 11, correct answer is option C. Now you should cross 11 also from the list. Okay, now we go on. Uh, I'm reading C, second, third, last line. Our books are usually those written from 1960s onwards and include feminist science fiction and all that. Paragraph D, please. This is an open group for parents and at the library and toddlers are welcome to come along and play in the children's library while the meeting is taking place. The group reads mainly fiction of different genre. Books are supplied by the library. Anyone is welcome. Have a look at our website to see what the book is for the next meeting. Now, by the way, question number 9, 12 and 13 are left. Now, let's go through question number 9. It isn't possible for a new member to join this group? No. Now, let's take a look at question number 12. Work produced by members of this group will be available to the public? No. No. Why? Yes. Where is it? Yeah. Okay. Don't read my face and when I read it like this, it means yes. When I read it like that, it means no. Okay, question number 13. This group doesn't read or write either poetry or fiction. That's not the right answer. I told you, don't judge me from my voice. So, paragraph D has no option at all. Okay, you need to understand that also. Paragraph D does not have any option. Question number 13, read or write either poetry or fiction. Question number 12, work produced by members will be available to public. And 9 is, isn't possible for any new member, but they are welcoming everybody. So, paragraph D has no option. Now, we've got paragraph E, book club. Every month, members of this group read a fabulous business book. Now, go back and see. Fabulous business book, which is then discussed when we meet. At our meetings, we will have the chance to network with other members, all like-minded businesswomen in a relaxed environment. There will be lots of ideas to discuss as well as refreshments and lots of fun. 
So, which question? They only read business book. What does it mean? This group doesn't read either poetry or fiction. Why poetry or fiction? Because they read only business. So, when they read only business, it means they don't read poetry or fiction. Question number 13, correct answer is E. And you should cross 13 as well. Now, what are you left with? 9 and 12. And how many paragraphs are left? One paragraph. So, you can answer that even without reading. But anyways, we will read. Paragraph F, poetry writing group. A writing group for young poets aged 12 and 18 at the library. You will explore how to power up your imagination and your poems will be displayed in the library and online. Your poems will be displayed. What is that? Question number 12, not 9. Work produced by members of this group will be available to public. Now, what is the word for will be available to public? Your poems will be displayed in the library and online. So, in the library and online, it means available to public. Question number 12, answer is F. Now, you should cross 12 as well. And question number 9 is, it isn't possible for any new member to join this group. We read on. Third last line, paragraph F. The group meets fortnightly on Saturdays from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Uh, the group is currently full, but anyone interested is welcome to join the membership waiting list. Group is full. You can join the waiting list. What does it mean? Question number nine. nine. It isn't possible for any new member to join this group at present. You cannot join the group, but you can join the waiting list. So, they will put your name in the waiting list and when they have seats available, they will invite you. Question number nine, correct answer is F. Let's go on. Question number 14. Now, which paragraph contains the following information? And we are fully aware of the passage. We understand the passage. Now, we can locate this information. And by the way, this question type, uh, which paragraph contains the following information is very common question type in academic reading part 2 and in general training reading part 1. Okay? Now, what you have to do, you have to scan. You read the question and you keep the clue words in mind and you scan the whole passage uh, and when you scan you do not read scanning is not reading scanning is more like a search for example if you go to the passage and i say look for the word 1999 look for the number 1965 and you can easily locate that right this is what we call scanning and when you scan you do not read if you're using a computer delivered ielts then cursor will move if you're doing paper delivered ielts then pencil should move Whenever you scan, scan with a pencil. Your scanning speed will be doubled. Okay? So, question number 14. A description of how people misused a bike sharing scheme. If you remember, people took away the bikes. Yeah? Paragraph. Go back and see. Description of how people misused bike sharing scheme. Everyone, please come to paragraph E. And we have the word people. People is given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th, 6th line. 6th line and there is the word people. Found it? Now, please read it with me. I really have no idea what people did with them. What do they mean by them? Bicycles. What people did with them? Because they could instantly be recognized as white bikes. So, what happened? People took them away. Right? So, people did with them. So, question number 14, correct answer is E. Because we have to tell them the paragraph which contains the following information. So, question number 14, correct answer is E. E for elephant. 
well done now let's go on question number 15 explanation of why proposed bike sharing scheme was turned down turned down means rejected now look for a paragraph where they say the bike sharing scheme was rejected go back rejected look for the word rejected for scheme they use the word plan just scan rejected the plan rejected the plan rejected the plan rejected the plan now go back go back <laughs> it's there just go through a b c rejected the plan rejected the plan paragraph c third last line after full stop nevertheless the council unanimously rejected the plan, plan. rejected the plan means scheme was turned down so question number 15 correct answer is c got it this is what we call scanning you're not reading you're only scanning and all that now question number 16 reference to a person it means they will use the name of a person being unable to profit from their work a person who started a scheme and he was unable to profit from his own work he did not make any profit from his own work look for a paragraph person who did not profit from his own work look for the words like financially benefit financially benefit excellent it's paragraph f second last line it's wonderful that this happened he says but financially i didn't really benefit from it he says means person who did not get benefit so that is paragraph f question number 16 f will be the right answer next question number 17 explanation of potential savings a bike sharing scheme would bring now just see reduced fuel cost health benefits anything like that go back to paragraph a b c d i give you a hint a b c d explanation of potential savings just look for some percentage or anything like that potential savings a bike sharing scheme would bring saving 10 percent anything like that okay that is well done neelam that's good that is paragraph c exactly in paragraph c okay uh, i'm reading paragraph c from third line i made serious calculations it turned out that a white bicycle per person per kilometer would cost the municipality only 10 percent of what it contributed to public transport per person per kilometer what does it mean it means explanation of the potential saving what is that saving 10 percent per person per kilometer okay so question number 17 correct answer is c question number 18 a reference to the problems a bike sharing scheme was intended to solve problems and bike sharing scheme had to solve these problems and usually they talk about problems in the first paragraph they start with the problems and how bike sharing scheme solve those problems and all that <clears throat> just go back and see where do they talk about it paragraph a third line after full stop they believed yes they believed the scheme which was known as white fits and plan was an answer answer means solution was an answer to the perceived threats of air pollution and consumerism so bike sharing scheme solved two problems one is air pollution and second is consumerism question number 18 right answer is a okay now we move on to reading part two things are going to be a little more complicated and those who are gender training you are actually preparing reading part three for gender training reading part three 
we have such type of passages. So when general training reading candidates, they solve academic reading. And after that, when they do general training reading, first they say, thank God. <laughs> because general training reading is not that much complicated. But part three is same. But remember, marking criteria is different. Academic reading, 30 correct answers, 6 band. General training reading, sorry, 7 band. Academic reading, 30 correct answers, 7 band. General training reading, 30 correct answers, 6 band. And in academic reading, Yasin, we get 23 correct answers and 6 band. So 7 questions difference. In academic reading, you get 23 correct answers, your band is 6. In general training reading, you get 30 correct answers, then you get 6 band. And why is that? It's because of level of difficulty. General training reading has got part 1 and part 2, they are not that complicated. That's why if you are general training candidate, try to get full marks in part 1 and part 2. There are 26, 27 questions in part 1 and part 2. And they are not complicated. Passages are very short. There are two passages in each section, a uh, total four passages in part one and part two. So if you do a little effort, you can get 26 correct answers uh, and then you can go on with part three. Okay, now we've got passage two. Does education fuel economic growth? What does it mean? If people are educated, economy will grow. And there is a question mark. Question mark means does education fuel economic growth means in order uh, for the economy to grow is it necessary to give education to people? Do you agree? Yeah, you are innocent people. But well, let's see what do they say. Now we've got complete passage about it. After this we go to questions. We have got questions 14 to 18. Which section contains the following information? There are five questions and these five questions will take you to passage five times. Full round of passage from A to Z. So it will eat all your time if you start from there. Then questions 19 to 22. What is that? One word only. Simple. And you will find answers in one location. So it's a good idea to start from there. Okay. Now please come to questions 19 to 22. Complete the summary below. Choose one word from the passage. Demographic reconstruction of two German communities. Okay, and then they say the database of Ogilvy. Now let's look for two German communities and Ogilvy. Please come back to the passage. Two German communities and Ogilvy. Will you come to paragraph D for doctor? D for doctor and you will see two German communities in second line. Paragraph D, second line, last two words are two German communities. Got it? So this is the location. Now first target is to mark the location of the passage where there is the answer. And then you read the question. Because if you read the question, then you mark the location, question will slip out of your mind. You are not as intelligent, okay? So, and uh, you need to read the question now. So, please come back. The database, I'm reading question number 19. The database that Ojilvi and her team has compiled sheds light on the lives of a range of individuals as well as those of their dash over a 300 period. 300 year period. Now, listen, two things. One is individuals. Second, as well as those of their. Now listen, their means individuals and their. Something related to individuals. Individuals and their dash. And then they say 300 year period. Now come back. I'm reading this first uh, uh, paragraph D for doctor. I'm reading it from the beginning. Ojilvi and her team have been building the vast database of materials possessions on top of their full demographic reconstruction of people. Now people means individual. Got it? People who lived in these two German communities. We can follow the same people and their descendants. For people they use the word individuals and their descendants. 
okay so descendants are people who come afterwards descendants right now what's the question individuals as well as their descendants well done correct answer is descendants and you will write it down as it is plural singular descendants opposite of descendants is your forefathers forefathers are people who come before you and descendants are people who come after you right you and your descendants the next generations <clears throat> they are your descendants who are going to come after you okay over a 300 year period now we proceed to question number 20 for example anna regina anna not anna okay anna regina and magdalena and don't worry about the names if you can't read them just read them however you can or otherwise just look at first uh, syllable anna reg mag reeth like that okay so anna reg and mag reeth were reprimanded reprimand means to scold right you say hey what are you doing that is what we call reprimanded okay reprimanded now two ladies anna regina and magdalena they were reprimanded for reading while they should have been paying attention to a dash now listen for example they were reprimanded for reading while they should have paid attention to lecture maybe lecture is going on and you open your book and you start reading so, so instead of doing that they were reading and they were punished for that now let's see what they were supposed to do same paragraph I'm reading 24 year. It's uh, stories like that of 24 year old Anna Regina. Found it? Yes. Okay, it's fifth line. Stories like that of 24 year old Anna Regina and Magdalena who were chastised. Chastised means reprimanded, means punished, chastised. In 1707, for reading books in church, now reading is already mentioned, instead of listening to the sermon instead of they were punished that instead of listening to the sermon they were reading book what will be the answer sermon sermon is that religious lecture which is delivered in the mosque or in the church we call it sermon so instead of sermon they were uh, actually they were reading a book correct answer is sermon now we go on there was also juliana who came to the notice of Weaver's Guild in the year 1752 for breaking guild rules. As a punishment, she was later given a dash. Now listen, as a punishment, what was she given? Right? As a punishment, she was later given a dash. So, same paragraph. Can you see when Juliana continued? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6th last line. Paragraph D for doctor, sixth last line. When Juliana continued, now we are going to see as a punishment, what did they give her? When Juliana continued taking jobs reserved for male guild members, she was summoned before the guild court and told to pay a fine. So what was the punishment? She was told to pay a fine. So they say here, as a punishment, she was later given a fine. She was given a fine. Okay, question number 22. Cases like this illustrate how the guilds could prevent. Prevent means stop. Stop something from happening. Cases like this illustrate how the guilds could prevent dash and stop skilled people from working. One thing is stop skilled people from working and second we will find. Now please come back, same paragraph, second last line. Paragraph D for doctor, second last line after full stop. The dominance of guilds not only prevented people from using their skills but also held back. Held back means prevent but also held back even the simplest industrial innovation. Now simplest industrial innovation innovation and you will write one word innovation. innovation simplest is adjective industrial is adjective innovation is noun so the correct answer is innovation
Now, we are left with four more questions and the questions are which paragraph mentions the following. Listen, this question type can be dealt with using scanning technique. Once you read the question, uh, I mean, now you are already familiar with the passage. So you know what is in the passage. When you read the question, maybe you, it, it rings a bell that I read this thing somewhere. So let's see how, how to manage this. Question number 28. Mention of Mover's desire to oversee all the stages of her business. We read it somewhere. Okay. So go back and see which paragraph. Where do they talk about? I wanted to feel that everyone involved in the brand. I wanted to feel that everyone involved in the brand. Paragraph E. e. Well done. Mention of Mover's desire to oversee all the stages of her business. So... I wanted to feel that everyone, this is paragraph E, third line. I wanted to feel that everyone involved in the brand from design to production was part of the process. I could witness. I could witness means to oversee. So question number 28, which paragraph? E. e. So right answer is paragraph E. Well done. Now, question number nine, reference to changing employment patterns among the general population. Changing employment patterns among the general population. I give you a hint. Go to first three paragraphs, A, B, C. Reference to changing employment patterns. Changing employment patterns means new jobs, different jobs among the general population. So, paragraph C, third line, up an entire room, but the times were changing as well. She says, more women were going out to work and sewing less for their children. More women were going out to work. What is that? That is changing employment pattern. More women were going out for work means changing employment pattern. So, correct answer for question number 29 is C. Question number 30, date when cloth kits was originally established as a product. Okay. So, date. Now, look for a paragraph with the date and then make sure that date is when cloth kit was originally established as a product. Okay, well done. Paragraph A, right? A, and uh, it's the third line, third last line. Paragraph A, third last line, after full stop. The brand founded in 1968. Yasin? The brand founded in 1968, had by the late 1980s mostly vanished from people's lives. So, reference uh, the date when cloth kit was originally established as a product so the brand founded in 1968 that is in paragraph a so question number 30 right answer is paragraph a question number 31 benefits of sewing a garment and then wearing it now you need to find a paragraph where they talk about the benefit of sewing a garment and then wearing it. Okay, I helped you with that. Last paragraph. Paragraph E. Well done. Mavish, that's good. Paragraph E. Fourth last line. Making your own clothes. Fourth last line after full stop. Inverted commas open. Making your own clothes gives a greater appreciation of the craftsmanship in the construction of a garment. Okay? So, these are the benefits of sewing a garment and then wearing it. So, making your own clothes gives you a greater appreciation. Greater appreciation is the benefit of sewing your own garment. So, question number 31. Correct answer is paragraph E. Got it? Are we done with everything? That's great.
Now, finally, we have which paragraph contains the following information? Question number 27. A reference to earlier examples of blindfold chess. Number one, past tense. Number two, earlier, 1902, 1935, a couple of decades ago. So look for something like that. Reference to earlier examples of blindfold chess. Look for 1920, 1980, 19 this and that. And then there should be an example. Well done. Paragraph D for doctor. Second line. The first recorded game in Europe was played in 13th century Florence. In 1947, Argentinian grandmaster and this and that. So what is it? A reference to earlier examples of blindfold chess. Now, whenever they use the word earlier examples, look for past years and then you need to find examples also. It's not that you see any paragraph with the year will be my answer. No. First look for year and then look for example. Now, what is the example? Example is first recorded game in Europe was played. That is the example and that was done in 13th century. Then in 1947 again and all that. So question number 27, answer is D. And use capital letters when you write any labeling answer. Labeling answer is A, B, C, D. Use capital letters for that. Question number 28, an outline of what blindfold chess involves. Very simple. In a paragraph, they will explain what do they mean by blindfold chess. Elaboration of blindfold chess. Well done. That's right, Pisma. Amina, well done. Come on, come on. Outline of what blindfold chess involves. It's paragraph E. Come to paragraph E. Second line. The nature of the game is to run through possible moves in the mind to see how they play out. From this, regular players develop a memory for the patterns the pieces make, the defenses and attacks. You recreate it in your mind. They are telling us how to play. Said Gary Evs, a lot of players are capable of doing what I am doing. So, it's paragraph E where they have given us uh, the examples or outline of what blindfold chess involves. Means, you create an outline in your mind. Question number 29, a claim that Garyev's skill is limited to chess. A paragraph where they claim that Garyev's skill is limited to chess, not any other game. Yeah, it's paragraph F. Paragraph F, fifth line after full stop and inverted commas. We didn't find anything other than playing chess that he seems to be uh, supremely, sorry, supremely gifted at. So we didn't find anything other than playing chess that he seems to be supremely gifted at. What does it mean? It was only chess that he was good at. Other than chess, he was not good at any other. It doesn't mean he can play hockey blindfold. He can play football also. So they say uh, supremely gifted at and that was chess. Question number 29. A claim that Gary F's skill is limited to chess. 29 answer is F. Question number 30. Why Gary F's skill is of interest to scientists? A paragraph where they tell us why scientists took interest in his skill. Okay. Right answer is not G. The right answer is option B. Come to option B. But Gary Eves prowess has drawn interest from beyond the chess playing community in the hope of understanding 
how he and others like him can perform such mental feats. Researchers at the University of California in Los Angeles called him in for tests. What is the question? Why Garyev's skill is of interest to scientists? So they tell us here that they called him in for tests. They now have their first results and ability to play a game and they're giving reasons. So question number 30, right answer is option B. Question number 31, an outline of Garyev's priorities. What does it mean? It means what does he prefer? Garyev's priorities, an outline of Garyev's priorities. Go back and look for a paragraph where they talk about his priorities. Well done. Yeah, that's right, Rabia, Bisma, and you. It's H, paragraph H. You can find his priorities. What are they? For the world record attempt, Garyev hopes to play 47 blindfold games at once in about 16 hours. He will need to win 80% to claim the title. I don't worry too much about the winning percentage. That's never been an issue for me, he said. The most important part, what is it? Priority. The most important part of blindfold chess for me is that I have found the one thing that I can fully dedicate myself to. I miss having an obsession. So that is his priority. Question number 31, answer is H. Question number 32, a reason why the last part of a game may be difficult. Now look for a paragraph, reason why the last part of a game may be difficult. Good. Second page, first paragraph, third line after full stop. Second page of the passage, first paragraph, third line. But the ends of games are taxing too. Taxing means difficult. But the ends of games are taxing too as exhaustion sets in. What's the reason why the last part is difficult? Exhaustion sets in, means he become tired. So exhaustion sets in. A reason why the last part of game may be difficult. And the reason is exhaustion sets in. Okay? All right. <clears throat> 